Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a video, a boil test, first one on this Zelf Starlight alcohol stove. Another stove that was given to me to play with and test. Uh, since that video I got a couple of comments and messages asking things and suggesting. Kevin Bradley said, Hiram, is the pot stand fixed to the stove or will it remove? Now all I can say is on this one it does lift and come out. Uh, you know, I guess that would be for the next comment, but um, I'm not going to. This might be handy. I'm going to try this, I think. I'm sure I'm going to get requests to try this without the pot stand, to have an external one that gets it up to that sweet spot. But all I can say is yes, on this one it does come out. Uh, Drunken Shooter suggested. It might be interesting to make a little washer out of a piece of aluminum or can lid to go on the top of this to act as a simmering. I think this would be pretty good for baking. Yeah, I agree with them. Um, but the problem that would come in is to get a washer that was big enough to limit this, to cover it maybe and have just a hole in the middle, you wouldn't be able to get it in between these legs. Now, I guess you could pull this out put a washer on it and then put the lid back down but in the middle of the stove being hot I don't think would be a good idea then I had uh, some messages asking me if I was to put a simmer on this how would I do it uh, the one thing that I came up with was just getting a piece of blank flat stock that fits between the legs just like so that way you could, even when the flames are going, you could easily slide this in, maybe with a pair of pliers. But this is a picture of what this looks like with the flames full on. You can see that it's, you know, nice big, goes to the edge of the, uh, the can. And then this is a picture with the flat stock slid in. You see you just get two flames on the outside edges, little crescents there, little wedges, whatever. And it would really lower the amount of the flame that's on there. So, I don't know, this is a simple thing. I would suggest something like this and see what happens with it. Just a little piece of flat stock. Now this is once this is stuff I had around the house, a uh, sixteenth of an inch thick. It's an inch and a quarter wide and I cut it at about uh, 2 inches, 2.33 inches, 59.2 millimeters. The reason why I cut it to that size was the container that this came with, which I'm not sure if it comes with all of them, that size of the slug will fit in there so you could pack it in. What I'm going to do today is try another boil test where I'll get the water to a boil and then I'll put this piece of flat stock in, the simmer device, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, did that go back down flat? Yeah, maybe. But in, this time, instead of using 30 milliliters, I'm only going to use 15. I don't feel like sitting around here for close to an hour watching this flame burn. As exciting as that is, I think I'm just going to use 15 milliliters and see what we get from there. So let me get my water prepped, get some alcohol in here and I'll be back for a test. Okay, so I've got my water prepped. Uh, this is actually the second time I've tried to do this. The first time I used uh, 15 milliliters of methanol in the stove and it didn't come to a boil. In 11 minutes 35 seconds it only got up to 210 degrees and then ran out. So I'm redoing the test using 30 milliliters. Two cups of water at 60 degrees Let's light this. And there go the flames. Start the timer. And let's see what it does this time. We're now two minutes into the test and the temperature is up to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. That's funny, with the 15 milliliters at this point it was up to 102 degrees. I guess having the uh, lesser amount of methanol in here let it heat up faster so um, let's see where this goes for getting to a boil there we have 210 
through 11. Come on. To 12 in 9 minutes 46 seconds. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll insert this. Let me aim that a little better. Pardon my hand there. Insert that. Put the pot back on. Okay, hopefully you can see the two flames on the sides. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. Okay, now there's actually only flames, small flames on this side, small flames on that side. Now I have a feeling this won't bring it to an actual simmer, but just an, uh, a softer boil. So let's see how long this takes for run out now in the simmer mode like this before it took 22 minutes 44 seconds. Hopefully it should be considerably longer now. So let's see. Okay, the flames are going down. They're at a bare minimum. The uh, temperature is bouncing back and forth between 210 and 211. Normally I would call that as the end of the test. I'm not sure why this is running out so fast. I really thought the last test ran for 22 minutes 44 seconds and I really thought this would expand that time. Okay, it's going down 209. I'm going to call it at 20 minutes. Okay. So I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe this is still just a little bit too wide. The uh, the uh, spaces on the sides where that piece of flat stock goes across, like that. This might be just a little bit too big yet. But that was my first attempt at it. Now, actually, my third attempt. The uh, first attempt where I was trying here. I used 15 milliliters of methanol. Well, that didn't even get the water to a boil. At 11 minutes 35 seconds, it ran out, only getting the water to 210 degrees. So then I had to let everything cool off, get to room temperature, put 30 milliliters of methanol in here. Water came to a boil in 9 minutes 46 seconds, which is about 15 seconds faster than the other day. So that's that's practically nothing. But this time it ran out in 20 minutes, so that's almost two minutes, two and three quarter minutes faster that it ran out. I don't know. Could be that it was just a smidgen short of methanol, but I doubt it. So, anyway, that's my first attempt at it. So uh, I thank Kevin Bradley for his question. I thank Drunken Shooter for his comment and suggestion. Um, this is just my first attempt at this. I have another idea to work with, but I'm not sure what it will do. But I have to do a little bit of machining for it. So, I thank you guys. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.